I am happy that the new year has come because I'm delighted to announce that this year in our diocese, we are celebrating a year of St. Joseph. And this is to commemorate the 150th anniversary of blessed Pope Pius IX naming St. Joseph as the patron and the protector of the Catholic Church. 1870 to 2020. And we can use this special anniversary year as an opportunity to honor this great and holy man, the foster father of Jesus and the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in honoring him, draw attention to our own vocation to be holy. Pope Francis has been emphasizing for us the last couple of years the need to take seriously the vocation to be holy for every member of the church as a way, of course, as he has mentioned, of addressing the horrible scandal that we've been living with the last couple of years. Every member being dedicated to conversion of life, conversion of heart, prayer, and holiness. And if you go back just 20 years, really, you find uh, Pope St. John Paul II at the beginning of this new millennium, the beginning of this new century, said that the first priority of the church in the new millennium is holiness. A great prophet he is to foresee that this is the path for the church, has always been, but a new dedication to holiness is needed as we're entering into the challenges possibly the persecutions of a new millennium, holiness, our personal growth in holiness. What does this holiness mean? It means practicing our faith. It means faithfully participating at mass, holiness. It means conversion from sin, going to confession, being reconciled with others, forgiving past offenses. What a great way to start the new year. A new slate, a new page, forgiving past offenses. Being faithful to daily prayer, holiness, practicing charity, the sign of holiness. So that brings us to St. Joseph. He was the holiest man to live on the face of the earth, of course, after our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. St. Joseph was with Jesus every day. He lived with God in the flesh every day. He carried Jesus in his arms he held him. He took care of Jesus. He clothed Jesus. He taught him. He fed him. He did everything any father would do for his son. But this son is the son of God. And this continuous living with Jesus being in Jesus' presence constantly made St. Joseph holy. Just imagine being in the presence of the Holy One in the living flesh and blood at every moment, what holiness would be communicated to you. He watched over Jesus. He helped Jesus grow from infancy to childhood into adulthood, an awesome responsibility. He had a great influence over Jesus, being the man in the house. And Jesus had a great influence on St. Joseph, making him holy. Of course, today being January 1st, 
we do honor also the holiness of Mary on this solemnity under her title as Mother of God. Jesus chose Saint Joseph to be the spouse of the Blessed Virgin and to be the legal father of the Son of God. And his life with them made him strong in virtue and in God's graces. He lived with the two holiest, sinless individuals ever to live on the face of the earth. What a blessing God gave to him. Can you guess what we have chosen as the theme of our Eucharistic Congress this year, September 11th and 12th, 2020? Be holy. It's a line that comes from the first chapter of the first letter of St. Peter, and it's appropriate for a Eucharistic Congress because the Eucharist is the source of our ongoing growth in holiness receiving Christ himself in Holy Communion, his real presence, his body, his blood, soul, and divinity. That's the source of our holiness. After all, Jesus is the Holy One of God, and he comes to live in us. So it is quite an appropriate theme that we have planned for ourselves in September. Be holy. So why is it so important to be holy? It's more than just something nice to do. To live in God's love, practicing our faith. It's important to be holy because we're interested in our own salvation. If we want one day to come into the presence of the all holy one, almighty God himself, then we must be living in his presence even now, to be with God forever in the kingdom of heaven. But it's also important to be holy, not only because we're interested in our own salvation, but because we want to give a convincing witness to others that Christ is alive in this world, that Christ is alive and he lives in us, and that we are his missionaries, we are his ambassadors. And that's why we want to be holy. Let us ask St. Joseph to intercede for us, to obtain God's blessings on us as we make our way in life this year.